Welcome back to the channel. This is a new series I'm calling, How Do They Do It? Maybe, I might continue to do this. Today we're gonna to take a look at how Drupal, Starshot, it's their sort of new flavor of Drupal. I haven't been in the Drupal world in many, many years. We're talking like 15 plus years. I was excited to see that some of the terminology and approach still exists. And with the recent kerfuffle of the create content models from wordpress.com and how they were creating custom post types and custom fields, which largely got everyone excited and a very hot topic in the WordPress world as a CMS, custom fields, custom post types, how do we do this? We're still waiting for WordPress core to give us something. So I think I'll take a look at how they do it, starting with Drupal, and then we'll take a look at other content management systems around the web. Drupal, CCK and views was something that really got me excited in the early days of my web journey to build software without code. It was a true no code builder before that terminology was even you know, a blip in the radar or on the radar. Um, we're still getting that with Drupal today and by no means am I a Drupal expert. So if you're a Drupal expert in the audience, you might see something that I'm missing, but I wanted to showcase from a 50,000 foot view, how Drupal works with their own version of custom post types and custom fields as we know it in WordPress. So the first thing we'll do is create our custom post type uh, inside of Drupal. And inside Drupal, it's known as a content type. So let's go to structure and content types. And you can see, well, just like WordPress, we have basic page and basic blog post. And those are your pages and posts inside of Drupal. We're going to add a new content type. We'll call this homes. Pretend we're making a real estate website for uh, a user using Drupal. Fun fact, that was one of the things I did with Drupal back in Drupal 5 into version 6 is I made a lot of Drupal real estate websites. I actually owned the domain DrupalRealEstate.com uh, until I realized now oh, you can't have that <laughs> trademark site. I no longer own that domain. Uh, so homes for sale. Uh, look, things look fairly similar. Like here's the name of our custom post type, or in this in this case, our content type, the description. I'm not going to go through all of this stuff line by line, but just to give you the broad brushstrokes. We have the title field label, and the title is our post title or page title, and that is the bare minimum field you need for content type in Drupal. Um, just like in WordPress, you need that po post or page title in order to maybe display it, query it, put it in a navigation, et cetera. There's a bunch of other things here, and I'll just go through it really briefly just so you can see what Drupal's up to. You have different publishing options, language settings, display settings, menu settings, like where can it appear in um, a particular menu uh, configuration inside of um, Drupal and scheduler, which is a... Uh, a Drupal thing. So we're going to hit save on that. And now we have our homes content type available. And when we go to create uh, the create menu, we have homes right on the list. So we have, we can create video files, audio files, basic page, post, and now homes. Sounds pretty familiar to WordPress. It would show up in the left-hand side of the admin bar. And now we have our title and the body of our post. So let's just say one, two, three street, this home is for sale, okay? And we'll save that post. Now it's going to preview it. Here is our post title, page title, 123 Street, and this is the home for sale. Uh, let me know what you think about the admin of Drupal. Uh, usually these kinds of actions, edit, delete, clone, are in the top bar of WordPress, and we all have this constantly sticky admin nav while we preview the page. We have this nice Drupal sticky admin nav so we can always get to other parts of our site. I, I think that's a nice uh, refresh from uh, the WordPress way of doing things. But now we have our one, two, three street. We're gonna go back to the structure of our content type. And this time we're going to click on manage fields for the home content type. So let's click on manage fields. And here's the body field. That's where we put the content in for our home. This is where this is really nice to have in a core CMS. And this is what a lot of folks are longing for on the WordPress side is I want to be able to create 
fields and attach this to our custom post type that we just made um, without having to go and get a whole bunch of plugins. Now, the if you're a Drupal expert in the crowd, you probably know that there's more fields than this available through uh, the extensions and, and plugins. I actually forget what they call it. Do they call it add-ons, plugins, extensions? There's probably more out there that you can add. This is just the default stuff that ships with Drupal. So I'm going to bring in a media field, and we'll just call this house picture image, house image, and click continue. Now we're adding a house image. It's using an image field. Tons of different options here, of course, but I'm just going to stick with the standard stuff and leave everything as it is, you can see we can do unlimited, we can limit the number uh, of uploads we can have, we can do a lot with the actual field, but this is just a media field um, to reference when somebody accesses that particular piece of content. This is where you really start to see Drupal stand out as maybe a pure content management system versus WordPress, which leans into content management system. I might get in trouble for that statement. Um, reference type. This is where we can define audio document image. Is it a remote video, a video hosted on the site? I'm gonna, for this use case, I'm going to click on image, and that's what we're going to uh, go with. We can set a default value, but I'm not getting into that for right now. Save setting. And we're going to add another field to this, and let's just say mm, we'll call this one a link. So we'll add a link. We'll say house location. And we'll say uh, you can pick from internal links, external links, both. Let's just say external links only and save settings. And we'll pretend that maybe we're putting a, a link to a map. I mean, I know, I know advanced real estate sites these days have the map embedded. And in fact, I believe there is a map field because I used to use that back in the day. I'd imagine it's still here. Uh, but we'll put a link in there just as sample sake. Let's go back to our uh, content and edit our 123 Street. We'll now see that we have the house image and house location link fields available right under the body. Very, very similar to what you would do with, let's say, ACF or pods inside of WordPress. You have the post title, the body of the content, and then those what you might see as advanced custom fields. These are just the fields built into Drupal. Um, it feels pretty native. I always felt like it was a clunky experience, even with the advancements that ACF has made over the years. But Drupal handles it really well. Of course, it's sort of natively built into Drupal, so why wouldn't it? I will pause the video and say, man, do I miss Gutenberg. <laughs> Looking at this screen here to create content, um, you know, and especially if this were a blog post, I really miss um, the editing experience of WordPress just looking at this screen, knowing that I don't have Gutenberg to slash command things, make headings, um, lists. It just looking at this, it seems like a very stark editor. Although I do know Gutenberg has some iteration for Drupal. Maybe I'll test that in a, in a future video. Let's proceed. We go to the house image. We can add media. And this is just media that's there inside of uh, this particular Drupal instance. So I'm going to insert that here. And then from a link URL, we'll just say Just, this is just for sample sake, okay? And we'll save it. Now we'll see on the uh, front end, we have, again, post title. This home is for sale. That's the content that I typed in, home image, and then the location. And just like WordPress, you might build a theme for Drupal that takes this content and does um, a bunch of different things with it, right? You can display it in different locations. You can style it. You can do all the stuff that a theme is going to do for you with custom post types and custom fields. The difference is, is Drupal is doing this out of the box, whereas with WordPress, maybe you're getting some other plugins to make this stuff happen. But there are some really fun things inside of Drupal that I've always you know, liked, of course. I've always admired it and really longed for it in WordPress. One of the really cool things that you can do with uh, Drupal is build out some views. And views is, uh, I'd say it's like the query block in WordPress or any kind of page builder which queries data and then displays it on the front end. And this was that aha moment for me where I was like, wow, this is awesome stuff. Like, I love that this is built into Drupal, again, 15 plus years ago. So let's add a new view. We'll call this all homes. And this is the simple query builder part. Show the content. 
of which type, we're going to say homes, new is first, old is first, or unsorted. We're going to say create a page from it for it. Uh, we'll call it all homes. The path is all homes. And the display format is your typical unformatted list of teasers, um, or is what we would call in the WordPress world excerpts, right? The excerpt of the content. So not all the content, but just the excerpt. And whether that is a 75 character cutoff or you're defining the excerpt, let's just show that. Items to display 10, we're just going to leave that default, create a menu link, we're not going to do that. And create a block. Block is a piece of content that can be used in their regions which sit in a theme. I'm not a Drupal expert anymore, uh, but it's not blocks as we know it in the Gutenberg world. Save and edit. The continued part of a view is we can really start to refine the look in the field without writing any code. We're doing it all in this UI right here. So just a few things I want to point out. Let's just view this view right now. And I just clicked on view page. It's all homes. And here's our page. One, two, three street. This home is for sale. When we click into it, now we'll see the rest of the content. But if we go back, we can refine this to do other things like show it in a grid, show it in an HTML list, a table, or a responsive grid. Right now, we just have this unformatted list. Let's just do responsive grid. We can click apply. Number of columns, four. Uh, we're not going to go through all this stuff. We're just going to hit apply. Save this. And now view the page. And it's not going to look like much, but if I hover over this, you'll, you'll notice that there is a little outline. You can see the edit link here. That means that if we had more posts, it would just show them in that responsive grid and stack those if we were going uh, left and right, uh, shrinking the browser down left or right or on a mobile device. We can do table. Lots of options here, but we're just going to hit apply. Save this. And now when we view the page, it's in a, a table fashion. Right now it's actually only showing the uh, post name. But if we go back and add fields to this table, these are all the fields associated with that. So we can do house image and house location. And we'll just save it as that. So this is, appears in homes. This is the house image. The format is the label, or we can put in the thumbnail of the image. Image size, so we'll just do medium. I'm going to leave everything else the same. Hit apply and continue. Uh, and this will be the house location. This is the URL. The format will be the link. Apply. Let's save this. And now view the page. Now our table of content is the 123 street. This is the address of our home. This is the image of the home. And this is the house location if it linked out to a map. And then we click this post um, ID, or not post ID, page, <laughs> page ID in Drupal. It's going to bring us to the full page right here to consume all the content. But the, the idea is, and what I wanted to showcase for how they do it, in Drupal, you have the custom post type builder. You have the custom fields to insert into those custom post types. And now you have views, which is your sort of query block way, where you can build out views of content that you can query, filter, and display still without writing any HTML or PHP or JavaScript to pull this content in to a page uh, or a post. There's a ton of other things that we can filter for, certain criteria. We can sort the criteria. Um, we can extend it further into the theme. We can modify the uh, pagination, or as Drupal calls it, the pager section <laughs> that we can work with here. Uh, I remember using this stuff way back in the day, display all items, or the little mini pager there. There's a ton of things that you can do with views, and that's largely how Drupal developers come in and start to build out content inside of Drupal. Um, works great for real estate. I know that firsthand, at least it did uh, many, many years ago. So just to zoom back out and show you what we've done is we've created a content type called homes. Inside of homes, we've added our own custom fields. This is what adding a new field look, looks like, and these are the different options that we had. And then once we started putting in our content, we started to create a view for, let's call it an archive page. That's very similar to what you might see in WordPress, where you click on an archive page of all of that content, whether it's homes, books, posts, pages, team members, views is what solves that. 
in the Drupal world. Um, it's nice to see that it still does. I like the admin stuff of Drupal as an aside. It seems really clean, and they've really um, abstracted that in the old days when I used to use Drupal. It was kind of, sort of like just built right into the website um, where it looked and felt like the website. That's how long ago it was. But I kind of enjoy what they've done with this like really clean, yeah, somewhat stark interface. Um, but it's always nice to look to see what other platforms are doing. That's how Drupal does it. Custom post types, custom fields, query block for WordPress, but in Drupal. If you want to see other CMSs, uh, I will probably dive into those next in another part in another series in the future. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments below. Uh, thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want more. Let me know what other CMS you want to see. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.